Okay, so I'm really close to finishing farming coins in Mario Odyssey, so I can buy every costume and finish the game. But I realized that this might not actually be a true 100% completion of Mario Odyssey, for some reasons I'll explain real soon. Anyway, I'm gonna buy the most expensive costume in the game, the skeleton outfit, and then farm just a bit more so I can buy the cheaper ones. Well, here I am back in the shop after more grueling coin farming, and it looks like I've totally finished the game now. In the wardrobe we can see stars at the top and bottom to show that we have every costume, and my file itself shows a star now too. Okay, so everyone's pretty convinced right that there's a limit of 999 power moons in Mario Odyssey. There's a small detail I think people might have overlooked though, and I'm going to open up my menu to show you what that is. In the moon list, it shows you how many of a certain kind of power moon you have. This is normally only used for multi-moons, where it shows a 3 on the list, but one exception to this are the moons that you can buy in the shops. In the Mushroom Kingdom, I bought 99 moons from the shop, and you can see the counter will not go any higher. Even if I buy another moon, the counter will still stay at 99, which is what we'll quickly test right now. As you can see, the counter is completely stuck and won't go any higher. Okay, so what if we take this moon to the ship? There's a moon icon below where it shows my coins, so we know that we're at least holding one. The cutscene plays, but as expected, our ship is still showing 999 moons. So we know you can't buy more than 99 moons in the shop, or give more than 999 moons to your ship. But what if you keep buying moons from a different shop? Let's make a quick trip to the Cap Kingdom and find out. Once again we have a moon icon below our coins, but what about the moon list? Well I'll be damned, it's increased from 15 moons to 16. But what if we take this to our ship, since the list says we have a new moon? Once again the cutscene plays, but the ship still only says 999. Despite what our ship says though, isn't it fair to say that we've collected new moons, since the list says so? We can even buy another 10 moons, and they'll all be counted on the list. In Mario Odyssey, there are a total of 880 moons, before you have to start buying them all from shops. We know you can buy 99 moons from each shop, and that one of each counts towards the original 880 moons. Therefore, let's count how many levels actually contain a shop where you can buy these power moons. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, nope, 12, 13, no, and not at all. Okay, so what if we times 13 by 98? Well, that's an incredible 1,274 extra power moons you can buy from shops. And what if we add that to the original 880 from the main game? Well, that brings us to a grand total of 2,154 collectible power moons in Mario Odyssey, contrary to the limit of 999 we all believed in. At 100 coins each, it's going to take a massive 127,400 coins to buy all of those extra power moons. Although there are a lot of secret coin piles in the game, this bonus level in Bowser's Kingdom has proven to be the fastest way to farm coins. On a side note, the coin piles you've collected get saved to your file, so there's actually one more challenge you can do for a true 100% completion. Okay, so that clocked in at about 55 seconds from the point where we ran over to pick up the seed, and we collected 180 coins. 127,400 divided by 180 coins is 708, and 708 times 55 brings us to 38,940 seconds, or nearly 11 hours. But what do we actually unlock from collecting all 2,154 power moons? Surely nobody's been patient enough to do this yet. Maybe Isle Delfino is in the game after all. Maybe Banjo-Kazooie will make an appearance. Or maybe even, L is finally real 2401. I guess we'll just have to wait until someone is patient enough to find out for us. 
So, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing if anybody is able to truly collect every single Power Moon in Mario Odyssey. Please subscribe if you love all this sort of game science and ROM hacking type stuff. I do that pretty often, often on a daily basis. And so, I look forward to seeing you next time.